All right, so Saucony has been having a great year, looks like, with some amazing partnerships, collaborations, and general releases. There was one sneaker that really caught my eye that recently released that I finally able to get my hands on, and that's going to be the Color Plus Saucony Shadow 2. Let's get into it. What's going on everybody? It's Mike from the Sneaker History Podcast and we are back with another video. Guys, thank you so much for joining. If you hadn't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a like, drop a comment, and hit the little notification bell. That's going to let you know when new videos just like this drop. Now, you saw in the intro, we had to bring it back to Saucony because they've been putting out some awesome things this year. And again, we're looking at the Saucony Shadow 2 by Color Plus. Now, this is a collaboration with Color Plus, which if I'm not mistaken is a New York based brand. And these are actually previewed during the Paris Fashion Week, which I think they actually released early there. We got these pairs a little earlier this month, but I missed out on the initial drop on the Saucony website. Now, there's still pairs available, just my size just happened to go pretty quickly. I was super excited about this one because, first of all, you guys know I'm a big Saucony fan. I love the sneakers they put out, whether it be a GR or collaboration. They've been doing some great things, and this year's been no different. In fact, I feel like this year is bringing them more into the spotlight again, like they were back in the early 2010s. Now, of course, you the J-Tips collaboration, and I'll put a picture up there that I was not able to get, but they've been keeping it rolling, and this is going to be one, again, with Color Plus. This is going to be on a, you know, kind of a forgotten model. This is a 90s runner called the Shadow 2 or Grid Shadow 2 that Color Plus actually took and took the running DNA and really transformed it into a, I guess, what, a hiking shoe? And, you know, what's really cool about this is that Saucony is really taking the trends that are out there right now from, of course, the OG runners to the Y2K runners and now the hiking shoe and bringing something for a little bit of everybody but in kind of own flair. Now, this particular color is supposed to be part of a three pack. Of course, when we got one so far, and this is going to be the beach ramble and it really is going to be topped off by the box to really show you exactly what the shoe's about because this one's going to be beach inspired so you have the beach the sand the footprint the shells of course the co-branded with Saucony and color plus but there's also going to be i think an arctic version and then a forest version that should be coming out later this year from of course you can actually go through some of the articles that have been put out by like hype bees ice in the body to really break down what they're doing but actually go to the Saucony website there's actually going to be some uh, they're alluding to those other two, as they mentioned, this as a three pack and those two other terrains that it focuses on. Now, with Color Plus, they really took inspiration not only from the beach, but from a vintage Saucony boot, which I had no idea existed, called the Trekker. I'll put a picture up here. That's the only picture I can find of the sneaker or boot, whatever you want to call it. But they want to take that hiking inspiration, put into this old runner to give you that, that inspiration. Again, hiking shoes have been very popular with many brands out there from Nike's ACGs to, of course, Solomon's. So a lot of people, a lot of brands out there have been doing this. But I like the fact that Saucony took something that they've been good at, the retro runner, and put that flair to make it a little bit more hiking friendly, if that makes sense. And that's going to be something we see in the, the material. So, of course, Saucony is known for their nice suede, their nice materials. And they're going to have a very hairy, like tan or sand colored suede here. That's going to be all your overlays. But if you get to the front of the toe box, the mud guard is like a rubberized toe guard here. So if you do bring it out, put it in these different terrains, you're not going to be tearing up the material on the toe. Now, when we get to the top of the toe box here, you're going to hear it. It's almost like a burlap or canvas. It reminds me of a, I guess like almost like a potato sack, um, honestly. It's going to be in that same sand color. But it's really nice. You get something different. You get that very nice premium suede, and you get that canvas underneath it. it. Really gives it a lot of layers, which is one of the things that really drew me to the sneaker. So as we get up here, we're gonna look at one more piece that always draws me into a sneaker, especially a running sneaker. I love the little mini branding they put on the outside of the toe box and the lateral side. One of my favorite things about, uh, like my favorite sneaker details, no matter what brand it is, and they do it so well and with the really flowing nature of the Saucony branding. It looks perfect right there. It's gonna be embroidered in that lighter colored sand. That's gonna match that canvas color here. Going up top, our eyelids are going to be done up in that same nice hairy suede. And you're going to have a couple different lace choices here. You're going to have this really nice like, kind of burnt orange color, but you're also going to have that same sand color. But also there's one more option. So if you want to go really like dive into that hiker shoe, you're going to have the rope lace in here that almost looks like bungee cords or dumping a sand and yellow color. I'm thinking I'm going to leave the orange in, but I'm kind of a fan of these rope laces as well. So we'll see. Maybe I change them up every so often. Well. Now as we get to the top of the eyelets here, you're going to have metal eyelets again really diving into that hiking heritage and that boot that trekker heritage it's gonna be dumping kind of this really i don't want to i can't really tell what color it is it's almost like a 
a tarnished silver. It was almost looked like it's turning like a maybe a little beigeish, almost not almost like gold, but more of like a bronze color. But very light. You'll see it right here. And it's gonna be the top two items done up in that metal. The tongue is gonna be that same canvas as we saw on top of the toe box, and we're gonna get our branding saucony done up in that orange and the color plus that's gonna be done up in kind of that goldish color, yellow color. Now as we get into the side of the sneaker, first off, I'm gonna get the paper out. I always forget to do that when I'm doing these for you guys. I like to keep the paper in until I actually wear it. But first off, we're gonna get inside the shoe is gonna give us that same tan, that light sand color we saw on the canvas, but it's gonna be a full mesh uh, sock liner. And of course, you're gonna have your insole, which is gonna be the lighter sand color with the sock and the color plus branding. The insole is gonna be a foam insole. Nothing super special, but Saucony is typically a pretty comfortable shoe. So I don't see this being any different. And we'll talk about you know, the sizing and feeling on foot just here in a little bit. Now getting back to the outside of the shoe, there's this, I, I guess it's like a new buck leather. No, nah, I think it's more just a rough leather. As you're gonna see here, it's gonna be done up in kind of that, almost like a dark salmon, dark, I don't know what color you wanna call this. Is it on the box by chance? It is not. So it is gonna be on here. It's like this kind of brownish orange color. It's gonna be like a cracked, real, like real kind of tumbled leather in there. It's gonna be your sock and your branding, of course, but you always have little hits here as well on the interior, the, uh, the medial side, both the inside of the shoe here and the same places on the lateral side of the sneaker. Almost gives me like kind of like an elephant print or maybe like cracking sand and maybe that's what it's supposed to signify. Now getting to the heel of the sneaker, of course the top of the ankle is going to bring us that same canvas material. We're gonna have that kind of cracking leather here that's gonna be that same color we saw on this, the branding. Of course color plus and up in that yellow gold color. You're gonna of course get more of that nice, very, very hairy suede with the softy branding dump and that light sand color as well. Now this is going to be an all, almost like, it reminds me of like a gum bottom, but it's not gum, it's all foam. It is gonna be that, again, dark sand, gum color midsole here. That is gonna be actually very comfortable, pretty soft. It is, Saucony is known for that. It is a very comfortable shoe, even though it's a retro sneaker. Still has a lot more comfort than a lot of other retro runners out there. So very, I would definitely recommend it based on the comfort. And on the outside, you're going to have that earth tones of the sand, that kind of clay color. There we go. Clay color is what we're going to have here with those, the triangle pattern, which Saucony is you know, known for. You're going to have the Saucony branding here. And you're going to have the grid cushioning, which of course goes in the name Grid Shadow 2. Very happy about this shoe. Saucony has been doing their thing this year. They've been doing their things a lot. I mean, from again, J Tips to the Maybe Tomorrow, which my favorite, one of my favorite shoes I picked up this year is going to be that uh, Shadow 6000 in the hair colorway. But this just continues just. They're doing awesome things and don't overlook them. I know they're not the most popular brand out there by any means, but who cares? You want quality, you want something that looks good, you want that nice kind of retro feel, but you know you're gonna get your, your bang for your buck. If I'm not mistaken, these are 140, and I got these from Oneness. So I found my size on Oneness, 140. It's one of the best materials I've seen, and again, it outdoes so many other sneaker brands out there, and they're not charging your arm and a leg. So definitely check these out. They're scattered everywhere, again, from Saucony's website to selected sizes to where I got mine at Oneness. I think Sneaker Politics still had pairs as well. So definitely if you missed out on the initial drop, check these out if your size wasn't on the Saucony website because they are worth the buy. And I, this is probably one of the few I'm wanting to complete the set. So when they come out with the Forge pair, the Arctic pair, I'm really excited to try to complete the set because just something different while giving me, again, that quality I look for in a sneaker. Now, sizing, I say go true to size with these. Um, they, I'm a size 10. I don't have a wide, but a pretty normal uh, width of my foot, but it wasn't super snug at all. This is, I, I feel like Saucony's are almost pre-broken in. And again, anybody who wants to, you know, say something different, that's perfect. That's fine. Everyone's foot's different. This is for me. Yo, guys, remember that. When I say these things, this is because I'm wearing it on my foot. Everyone's foot is so different. So that's why I always say try it on. Try it on if you can. I know the shadow to seems to be the next retro secret they're going to be pushing because there's going to be a white and blue pair or blue and white pair that's available on their website now, which I'll put a picture up there. Seems like the next sneaker they're pushing and I think it's definitely a nice, again, retro sneaker that has still an aggressive look to it. So check them out. I think they're perfect for, especially this color when it comes to the fall, winter season coming up, but with the materials are always awesome for any time. So check out the sneaker. Let me know what you guys think about it. You like it, you not like it, you love it, you have it. Let me know your thoughts on it. Until next time, guys, see ya.